Hi guys, it's Tim with the Inflatable Office and Event Office, and I'm going to show you uh, something that we have that's new in our email newsletter tool, and that's the ability to send an email to just the people that didn't engage with your previous newsletter. So uh, this is probably not something uncommon in uh, programs that just specialize in email newsletters, but it's something um, new for us. So um, here's how you do it, basically. And, and the reason why you might want to do this is, you know, you might have 10% of your, of your people that either clicked or opened the email, and the other 90% didn't, and so you may want to send them something a little different to see if you can kind of get them to engage with you. Or maybe you want to send the same thing, um, just thinking maybe they just, um, timing-wise, they didn't have time to look at it, and you just want to kind of remind them of them. So either way, uh, those are good reasons to, to do it. So I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. So the big thing here is, we want to create a filter uh, that will help us identify who those people are. So what I'm going to do is just name it appropriately. So I know later what that filter is. Uh, it is a customer filter because we are working with, um, <coughs> excuse me, we're working with uh, newsletters. Newsletters go to the customer list, uh, not, not lead based. Uh, so uh, we're going to look at this custom email ID. So what that does is it allows us to uh, identify the newsletter that we're going to be, um, you know, sending based on. So this, and this is the ID right here. So we can find it right in the URL. So I'm going to grab that ID and I'm going to paste it in here. And so this is the newsletter that I want to um, make sure that I send, you know, based on, I want people who didn't engage with this newsletter. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, we want to say they didn't uh, click on anything. And I'll type an email again to find this one. And we want to say they did not um, open the email either. So you can see that number is kind of filtering down here. And you can see your total number of customers here that we're sending to. Uh, just as a sanity check, you know, we might come back over here to our stats and say, OK, well, it should be the number we sent minus the number opened, um, possibly you know, subtract these two. But that most likely, they are going to be the, the same people that clicked because they have to open it to click it. So we would assume that, you know, maybe just this number. So if we subtract this two, we get something like 6,038. That's not what this says. And the reason being is that in our customer database, we probably have multiple profiles with the same email address. And, uh, you know, when we send a newsletter, we take those out. Uh, we only send to one email address. That way, uh, you know, they don't get it five times if they're in our database five times with the same email address. So. So we're pretty close there. So, you know, I feel pretty good about that. Another thing you can do is, let's see, let's go ahead and save this filter. Uh, so we've saved the filter. Another thing we can do is we can come over to customers here and I have to refresh the page here because it doesn't know that we just made a new filter. And we're gonna click up in here and we can start typing our filter name in. Should find it. So, uh, hold on a second here. Let me just scroll down. Right here it is, here's our filter. I'm going to apply the filter and uh, we'll see our results here. Uh, so I should show the number of results here in a minute. Okay, so, uh, you know, we could kind of page through these and look and see, you know, do, you know, do we have, so there's a lot in here that don't have emails. Obviously those wouldn't get sent to. So that might be another reason for why that number is higher than it should be. Um, so, but that's how you would look to kind of see who it's going to go to. Um, Back over here in our email area, uh, if we feel good about our filter, uh, now it's time to make our email. So we're going to add an email. Uh, we would name it, and probably I would, you know, name it basically the same as what I named this. So I'd probably just copy that, and name it. Um, I never make an email active until I've saved it and, you know, sent some test ones to myself. So I don't, I don't, you know, I recommend not doing that. Um, I won't go through all of the newsletter stuff here. We're just going to show you what you'd want to do here is you'd want to come down in here and find your, your filter right there. It is. And you would say, we only want to send to these people. And so, you know, obviously you need to put in your subject and your content um, and select when you want to start sending it and so forth. Um, but that's how you do it. And so it's, it's not super easy or intuitive maybe, which is why I made a video. And uh, if we have more of you using this sort of thing, we will make a, a simple one-click thing to, to help you do this. Uh, but I just want to show some of my power users. Uh, if you want to do this, the ability is there. So thank you all.
talk to you soon.